Uh, this is Ryan Todd, SB Men's Basketball. Ryan, you have uh, one final game before the holidays, and that's on Monday the 17th at home against Warner Pacific. Your thoughts on that game? Uh, Warner Pacific is a really highly touted uh, NAIA school, and so we're really uh, looking forward to that one. And uh, we know they're a very talented team, and so uh, taking a full week here of preparation to get ready for them and uh, hopefully come out of there with a win. Christmas is the week after that game. Is there any danger to your team looking ahead to the holidays? Uh, no, I don't think so. Guys are pretty focused, and uh, we've had a really good week of practice so far. And I think that uh, you know, once Christmas comes, then we'll all be uh, you know excited for that. But for right now, we're still pretty focused, and uh, making sure we uh, get ready for Monday. After that, that is your last non-conference game, the Warmer Civic outing. Uh, then you don't play again until January 3rd against defending national champ Western Washington. How difficult will that be to, after a little bit of a layup for the holidays to come back and play um, the game? Well, we're going to have to kind of come into it with the right mentality, just like we are now. We're going to have to spend about a week long uh, practice getting ready for Western, and that's, just, that's a huge one on our schedule. Uh, we've been looking forward to that one for quite a while, and so it'll be really important for us once we get back from break to really focus in on what Western uh, you know, is trying to do. and. Uh, just you know, have a great week of practice leading up to that, so we have, so we don't have a lapse. Great. Let's uh, look backwards uh, for a bit. Your last game was against Evergreen State here at Brome Pavilion, an 80-45 win in which you had six assists. Talk a little bit about that game. Uh, you know, guys just kind of got open and just found them in the right place at the right time. And there's just, there's so many talented players on this team that. Uh, you know, you get them in the right spot, they're going to they're gonna knock down shots for you. So, my um, teammates did a great job of hitting open shots for me. You've been seeing increasing minutes this year. Is that what people can expect out of you? Uh, do you enjoy that playmaker role? Uh, trying to. Just trying to kind of come in and contribute in any way I can. Just for me being ready at any opportunity and just trying to make the most of any minutes that I get out there. I think that that's something that I've tried to, to build upon this year and just um, seeing a little bit more minutes. This Falcons team has been really unselfish lately. Up in Anchorage, a win. 24 of the 26 baskets were assisted in the Evergreen game. 24 of 28 were assisted. That's an unbelievable ratio. Uh, what's been the key to this team and why are you so unselfish? Like I said, I think we got uh, tremendously talented players on this team. And when we kind of we buy into the fact that so many guys can score it for us, we become much more unselfish on offense and it just makes the game so much easier for us. We're able to, to pass it around and really put guys in situations that they're they're very capable of scoring in. So I think that's been key for us. Just such unselfish play and realizing there's, there's so many talented players on this team. Great. Uh, last year's team obviously was very good, made it to the regional final against Western Washington. Uh, how is this year's team, now 8-1 and one so far, how is this year's team different than last year? I think this year's team is a little bit more focused. I think we're, uh, you know, not, not to knock anybody on last year's team, but I think this year's team, uh, we all kind of came together at the beginning of the season and have common goals and really are just, you know, focusing in on what we can do uh, each day to get better. And uh, I think that, you know, the group of guys that we have, a uh, big thing for us is we have really good relationships on and off the court. I think the guys really trust each other and, um, you know, want to do well and play well for each other. So it's been, been pretty key for us. Great. Uh, lastly, I don't want you to look too far ahead, but uh, after Monday's game, it is the holidays. What uh, will the Todd family be doing for Christmas? Todd family will be just hanging out, spending time with family. Got a little brother that plays high school hoops, so be going and checking out a few of his games. But just spending time with the fam. Can't, can't go wrong with that. Great. Thanks very much.